Hello, hello. Hello and welcome. Hope everyone's having a good day. And uh, today we're going to continue working on the character titles. Hopefully we can finish that today. Because, yeah, it took me a long time actually to implement that. I hoped that that would be a, a smaller feature than it turned out. So um let's try to finish it today <clears throat> so yeah from the last stream i decided what i want to do with the with the quest titles and so now i need to implement one more um character statistics source or character statistics type. So <clears throat> let's see, can we integrate that into the character titles component? Should be able to do that. I think I already have the events for that. Don't tell me you're following me. Following you? Uh thank you for the follow. Uh Zipper Zyper thirteen thirteen, thank you, thanks a lot, and welcome to the stream. Um, so, where are our event listeners? Right here, init method. <clears throat> so. Yeah, here we have quest completed event. I think this is the one that we need to listen to. And right now it just it's just used to assign the title. But but what we need to do is no, wait, we need the statistics component. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not, not the titles. Now I'm confusing those two. So, uh, quest completed. We also have this event here in statistics component. Hello, Black Beverage. How are you doing? So, we have quests. Play a quest per slot type. What we also need to do is we need to actually let me check. Do we have all the data? Args uh, quest start date. Okay, perfect. We have the start date here. And the if it's getting better and better. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, we're getting there. Basically, I don't want to just introduce the outfits that you can just buy in a shop. Uh, I want to like, introduce outfits mainly as reward for something or um, or maybe you can craft them or something like that. And that will take time to, to implement. Maybe we can do some events in the meantime uh, until we implement like all the proper features that um, that would give you the equipment as rewards. Like rewards for titles or bosses. Like, um, I don't know, maybe some quest completion, maybe some event completion, maybe like some dungeons, but we don't have dungeons right now. Uh, maybe some... One second. Uh, maybe some uh, crafting, but we don't really have crafting. We only have like trades with NPCs. So you give the NPCs materials and they craft you something so we'll see it's just right now we don't have a lot of ways 
to create some equipments that would be truly unique that would be like not something like generic that you can just buy but something that you have to work on to get and that way that would be more valuable at least that's that's my goal uh so yeah slowly getting there but yeah still gonna be a long way until we have like some good amount of some equipment pieces outfits <clears throat> so back to our quests we need to calculate the time it took for the quest completion uh in seconds even so what we can do is why do i have ukrainian language all of a sudden okay uh so war for um completion equals args quest start no args quests oh guess current time is gonna be the completion date so it's gonna be date time offset utc now minus quest start date i hope that's also uh date time offset yeah okay great wait why is it why can it be nullable i think they just before it started right um yeah so i think it's safe to assume that there is a start date but actually just in case we implement something that doesn't work like that i'm gonna do that has value um then here we will just get the value so completion time um so what we need to do now is it's gonna be where is that longest quest completion time per slot type right we have our slot type and then it's gonna be date if higher let me bring that to the next line and we will do completion time total seconds let's convert that to long source id actually here i can assign some source id why not so this is going to be args quest id right this is the the way we use it yeah Okay, so now we have the statistics. Wait, but where is my statistics component? <clears throat> also, I want to output that. Uh, where do I do that? Chat, commands. Hello, Ren. 
Hey, hey. So, um, chat comments, Java statistics. Crap, I really need to optimize that a little bit. But okay, uh, do we have some quests? Quest statistics, yeah. Mm. Not sure how to output that. Basically, we have uh, the longest quests per slot type. But first of all, I'm not sure how to display that. I guess we have format time methods hours. Last minute seconds. Okay. So we have that. Um, how was that type called? Longest quest completion type. Time, I mean. <clears throat> hello, hello. Welcome to the chat. So, longest quest completion type. The time. Why do I keep saying type? I keep typing type. But yeah, we have now these. So it's not going to be sum, it's going to be max. Max value. And we need to format it. And does this do? Ah, uh -huh. so this is the thing that actually wait, what? Should have commented out, commented the code a little bit here. Hard for me to understand what's happening. Mm. What is this? Ah, I understand now. Okay. Okay. So, so this is quite sophisticated methods. I'm not sure if I need that. Source value, source getter. Okay, I see now. Yeah. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, here, for example, for the most often killed NPC, we have source getter that gets the NPC name from the NPC prototype table. Okay. Hmm. So here we actually have a lot of data and they don't really want to display all of that. We can display per each slot type what was the longest completion type at the time and uh, what was the actual quest name. But I don't think I need to display that information can just display actually that may be interesting so for now we need to display at least the time values How do I... Yeah, that's value getter. So this max can I return the actual number, right? Can you see that somewhere? Okay. But yeah, that's gonna return the number in seconds. I need to use this format time. So for these ones, for these ones, I can just wrap those around with format, format time like that so that's easy but for the sum or for the max can't use max, I, I need to, oh my god, what was the, the method name? Like I need to get an actual entry that has the maximum amount in the value property. Like order by and then first Something like that. Is there a easier way, easier method? Uh, wait. Um, oh, max by maybe. Yeah, and this is the value. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So now we just wrap that with the. Uh, Format time. But the problem is this max by can return now, right? Or I 
Like what is the what if the the collection is empty? What if the collection is empty? Hello. Here we go. So, so it's gonna actually throw an exception, which is not acceptable. So what we need to do is either forcefully populate that collection or check that somehow. Crap, this, this gets complicated. Maybe I just remove that because <laughs> I'm not liking how, how that turns out. It's a bummer that it actually throws an exception if the collection is empty. I would prefer it to return now. Do we have like any overrides? Hmm. Oh wait, this source is a primitive type and the source sequence is empty. Okay, okay, okay. If the source sequence contains wait. If the source sequence is empty and the source is nullable type. This metal returns null. Perfect. Ah, okay, okay. So it's actually perfect. Um, and the entry is, yeah, it's, it's a class. So this is nice. Only need to double check that this thing processes null values properly. Uh, and we're gonna do that by if entry is null we're gonna return null i guess or maybe not available me i think it's it will be better if i add the same thing for other format methods. This actually should return now. Where is mm, format money being used? Okay, it's good. Format subtype by scale base AT. This is for source that don't have to be now. This should return now. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're gonna display the like the actual times, but we don't display the the quest name. I think it's fine for now. Let's check how that works. <clears throat> hello, Aninia son. Hello, hello. Oh, 
too soon. The Zone server is still loading. So right now we shouldn't have any statistics records for that. Okay, no exceptions so far, that's already great. Uh, so where are the quests? Why does it return zero? Can I navigate to the getter? No. Wait. No, oh, entries. Ah. Okay, I see. So if it doesn't have any statistics entries for a given uh, key, it just returns an empty record. So this is why we have zeros. Okay, um, what we can do is in this format time, we can also check if the value is zero. Wait, millisecond. Okay. Yeah, we used milliseconds and other statistics uh, types. So let's do that here as well. Wait, uh, where is that? Total milliseconds. I still should be fine with the uh, sixty four bit number. So let's restart. <coughs> Now we have no available, not available labels. Okay, so now don't have any quests. Can I grab some quests? Let's do lunch delivery real quick. So Okay. 
this one. Oh crap, I triggered all the titles. Yeah, okay. Whatever. It's not be it's not gonna be saved. Uh so okay, let's return the quest now. So right now we look at the statistics. Yeah, we don't have any times. Now we should see... Yeah, minute 53 for general quest. Okay, good. Um... I think that's good enough. Yeah, I don't really want to complicate the statistics entry too much. Also, I think I forgot to add some of the statistics to the command. Yeah, I can output something like kills per NPC race AD that should be easy enough to do we don't have that yet so that would be good wait command uh, so here something like most often killed monster most common death from so we can duplicate those Most often killed monster race. And this is gonna be where is it? Kills per NPC race AD. But here we actually need to get the race table, not NPC prototype table. So here we will do NPC race table. Oh, we, we don't load that. Crap. So to display the statistics for this, I actually need to load those tables into the server well should be easy enough do we have something similar something small have structure type Yeah, let's do that. So this is gonna be how is the table called NPC races? It's gonna be NPC race table. Let's rename that. We're just gonna have a single entry. 
NPC races. Entry is going to consist of ID and string name. So we have uh, a D race. Okay. That should be good enough. We don't need any dependencies whatsoever. Let's register this one in the dependency injection container. Module. Actually, I can move this. Into the game library. And just like that, this is still fine. Now here we get the stable. Then in this newly created must often killed monster race, we will do race table by id like that and then death um how do we name it must come on death from monster race We're going to have the same source getter. And now we need two more. And these ones, wait, this is death per NPC. Ray CD. And here we will have type. per NPC type ID. Let's actually move these to above the race because that's more general thing. And we're gonna have another table. So let's duplicate this one. This is gonna be NPC type table and pc types right yeah and pc types um and the uh, column type So now I need to register that here as well. And uh, statistics command NPC type table.
just like that. So we have kills parenthesis ID, kills parenthesis type ID, left parenthesis type ID, type table, uh, kills parenthesis race ID, and death parenthesis race ID. Okay. Is that it? Structure harvested per ID. Yeah, we have that. Okay. Let's reload real quick. Also, one thing that I forget to do is in uh, title conditions get to return this thing but okay I, I'm gonna do that with git first let's test the statistics command Okay, so slash statistics. Yeah, must command this from must have killed master type plant. Must command death from master type insect. Must have killed Master Race Pukui. Death from Thief Box. <laughs> yeah, same sacred. 48 times? Okay. Um, so, now I have the statistics. Uh, let me save that real quick. Let me actually try and build that in release uh, configuration. So this is NPC race table and PC type table. Wait, actually those two can be moved to a Mirheim implementation. here um your hame server hame server now i need to remove those from that module folder and I need to add them to no uh, dependency section. This one. Just like that. Now what do you want? So oh, I guess namespace okay we should be good
Okay. Fresh statistics. Yeah. Uh, plant insect per creative box. Okay, that looks good. So let me save that. Okay, this is good. Now here. Yeah, so we added, uh, what was it called? Longest quest completion time uh, statistics. Um, and we actually let's separate those two commits. This is yeah, statistics outputs for show statistics command. Okay, we get here. Let's export data from the database. Okay, nothing new here. Now, now what I wanted to do is I wanted to revert the conditions that they did for the first six titles. And we can push that to the database. Okay, looks good. Strength, int, con, dex, vit, lock. Okay, so now, now what I wanted to do is actually, uh, this title line that we implemented the other day, it was to kill the frogs. The frog slayer title. Instead of that, I wanted to move that a little bit down. So I want to have two titles on top of that. Maybe I can actually create some kind of namespaces or id regions for the titles so they will be grouped together the problem is we have titles have only um two bytes for the title so maximum id is sixty-five thousand. still should be good so if we move the monster slayer types titles to something like 1000 id 1000 we should be good we would have 1,000 ideas on top. We can even do that, I don't know, to 10,000. Oh, 
yeah let's do that we, we because we actually have in the npc prototypes we have th the same 10,000 um id region divider for the monsters so that would be really nice so let's in that case let's change the id or where is it character titles for the title nine and let's synchronize that with races so for frogs 29 so this is gonna be 10,029 frog slayer so let's Ah, uh, conditions. How can I? <sighs> this is a nine. Okay, uh, we can just copy that, delete it. Then we change the ID here. Then we insert a new entry here. Well, this one can, can stay. Or we can even do that later. Well, okay, it, it can stay. So this is gonna be dialog title dialog ID, title ID. It's gonna be this one. Here we have twenty nine, thirty thousand. Okay. Right. Uh, so we have the frog slayer. Uh, let's add another generic title so this is gonna be let me actually spell check that because yeah so this one is gonna be the diligent i'm not sure about the description yet and the next one is gonna be the lazy They're not going to be hidden. So these ones are not going to be hidden. <clears throat> huh. Sure. So these two, let's add conditions for them. So nine and ten. Acquisition type NPC dialog. Who's gonna do that? Yeah, it's gonna be Maurice Kachana. Title nine. And in the requirements we're gonna have statistics type so this one title nine diligent okay so statistics type for that one crap here statistics types uh completed quest per slot type this is ad4 subtype i forgot what we have for the general quests i need this condition to account for general quests it's one okay 
right? Mine started in general. Yeah. So, how many quests do we do for this title? Is one hundred enough? I think so. So you need to complete one hundred um, general quests to obtain this title. Okay. Actually, that's not nice. Let's do it. Actually, no. Doesn't matter. I, I shouldn't look at the at the AD. It's completely not relevant. <clears throat> Just it's my obsession with nice numbers. So we have that one. Now let's do for the lazy. AD ten. Here we will have ten. Mariskichana, yeah. Actually, who can handle that besides Morris? No, I think that the better solution would be to use Morris for that. So for this one, we need to track the longest quest completion. This is AD 47. Subtype again one. This is gonna stand for um, what's its name? The, the general quests. Now, here value is gonna be in milliseconds. So, what time would it be for this title? One month, one week. I don't know. Let's compare that to quest completion. So, for example, you do. Let's do like something like three quests per in game day, which is two hours. Right. Um, so we do one hundred divided by three is thirty three real time hours. So maybe one week would be would be enough. Hello, Del Dark. Hello, hello. So one week in milliseconds. Okay, I, I think I can just ask Google for that. I'm too lazy to calculate that. Uh, okay, exponential eight. I don't really like this answer. Oh, here we go. I think this is the one. Something like that. Actually, that shows me that it can be dangerous, actually. Let's try what would be like 10 years in milliseconds. Three hundred sixteen billion. That's okay. Because integer 64 is, yeah, 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 that's much longer. So yeah, we are safe with that. It's just gonna be weird that we are working with so large, large number here. Um, okay, let, let's double check now that I have this number. So divided by 1000 is gonna be seconds divided by 60 minutes, divided by 60 
this is hours divided by 24 yeah seven days okay So we have those. Um, what else do we have? Well, we can actually generate all of those NPC race uh, titles. We need 69 of those. Well, I guess excluding these three. So and start on, starting from five. So it's going to be 64, 64 titles. Um, let's just generate that in a similar way like we did um, the other day for the statistics recalculation. So we need from NPC races we need to select id race oops uh, where id creator are equals to five so here we have our uh, 65 oh yeah because we're starting with five okay so now we need to generate titles so this is going to be 10,000 plus ID like that and instead of race we're going to do uh, concat mm. the race base slayer something like that here we have all our titles actually no well this is a good test if i have all the races in correct plural form so let's double check every one of them. So Paku Slayer, Vedon Slayer, Chen Chan Merfolk Slayer, Shark, Bandit, Zadora, Skets. This should be cat in single form. Wolf, Thief Bug, Polar Bear, Pora Pora Goblin, and Trayan Non Leaf, and. Okay, so all of that should be in singular form. Wormtail, Puffer, Fish, Aster, Coronitus. Marine Sphere, Small Fish, Hydra, Tuna, Frog, Fletcher, Porn, Spore, Bone, Bone, Spider, Sheep, Cow, Mice, Mice. What would be the correct, the correct way? the mouse slayer or the mice slayer I think it's, it should be the mice slayer I don't know my English is not good enough for, for, for that <laughs> run and remove her yeah okay if we're gonna use it like that So, Red Slayer, Squid, Cheer, Penale, Gremlin, Worm, Yo Yo, Skeleton, Geographer, Front 2, Boar Slayer, Stainer, Mayanara, The Raven, Willow, Cray Slayer, Yetrang, Paranite, Beetle, Turtle, Dog, Bear, Work. Didn't we have the bear? Oh, we had the boar. Okay. Um, bear, orc, mosquito. It's 
that correct? Yeah. Axolotl machinery. <laughs> the machinery slayer. But okay. Sinapa card. Pabans, Dredge, Ancient Beetle. That should be in singular form. So something like that. Why is thief bugs still in plural? I'm pretty sure I changed that. Where are those? Ah, oh, thief bugs. Weird. I thought I changed that. I guess I need to double check. Can we actually, we have polar, polar bear and we have normal bear. Can we group those two together? Hmm. I don't know. I think we're gonna leave them like that. Puffer fish, Aster, Coronatus. That looks good. So now, oh, now we need to duplicate that because we have male and female forms for the titles. What else do we need? Hidden is gonna be zero. Hint, yeah, let's generate the hint as well. Uh, what would it be? Mm. Crap. <laughs> it's hard for me to come up with some like nice text. So something like, I don't know, uh, <coughs> mm, something like you slain so many, um, Frogs crap here we need a plural version. <laughs> do we extend the races table with the plural version or do we just manually replace it? Will we need plural version of races later? I don't know. Plan so many frogs. Crap. <sighs> Okay. 
Actually, that should be a part of the description, not part of the hit. Uh, so, slain so many frogs. I don't know where I'm going with that. What we can do is, uh, we can do something like you've, you've defeated every frog that will be singular form that we can reuse. We defeated every prog, frog um, that was in your way or wait by the way uh yeah uh, i have a new discord by the way uh not not the Emerheim discord but yeah i've created my personal one uh, so yeah if you feel like it please join the the bot just said the link in the chat um because yeah, um, there was some stuff that they couldn't really do in Imerheim Discord. Um, but yeah, now with my personal Discord, I can basically go wild and do whatever I want. So yeah, if you're interested in that, feel free to join. I would like to see you guys there. <clears throat> So let's get back to, to this description. Uh, my God, meaningful sentences, hard. Mm, you've defeated every frog that you could find. <laughs> no. Please calm down. Mm. Hint cannot be no okay. So what do we do for the this for the hint? We we did the description. Maybe later I will change that, but for now that looks okay. Um, by the way, why why status effect ID is zero? Did they lose the data? I'm pretty sure I filled that in for the previous titles. Uh, status effects crap maybe i did not build it in properly pretty sure i tested that that's for sure but probably i didn't create status effects for the titles Yeah, we have the equipment ones, we have of 
portions will have spirits and that's it. Crap. So that, that's another thing for a to-do list. Uh, let me write it down because I already forgot that. So that should be um, create status effects. Okay. Now back to the titles. Mm, well, well, let's let's do the hint. Um, crap. <laughs> Coming up with some text. It, it, it's hard for me, especially on stream. <laughs> So, but yeah, I need to get used to it. Um, what would it be? I guess I can skip the hint for now, but I would actually really like to uh, implement that. I have no ideas for this one. So let's for now write down what we had um, into the generator. So we have, yeah, this is for, for hand. So let's replace it with empty thing in here. Here we need to replace the frog with the race name. Something like that should be pretty simple. Now hints. I can do something that that's derived from this description, something like you like you have to be focused and defeat every frog that you can find, <laughs> something like that. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Um, exterminate as many frogs as you can. Doesn't really sound that good. Um, and also we need to use plural forms here, so I would have to manually replace the text that's generated. Um, Mm, 
like don't um, give them a chance to exist or of existence chance how do you say it exterminate every frog that you can find don't even give them a chance of existence is, is that a correct way of saying this first of all i have a type here I guess maybe. Yeah, I think that that's good enough, at least for now. Later we, we can improve that. Just the problem is the translators would have to update the text. But uh, I think that's, that's good enough for now. So I need this text, right? Right here. I need to escape this and uh, replace frog with that thing. So this should be our titles. Exterminate every wolf that you can find. Don't even give them a chance of existence. You have defeated every wolf that you could find. Please come down. Please come down now. That, 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 that should be better. Um, okay, uh, what else do we have in the titles table? We have just status effect. We were not interested in that. So, I'm pretty sure we can just copy all of this uh and just paste it right here there is one problem i already have the conditions for this one so i need to exclude that so that's 29 uh, and id not equals 29, 29 or 23 okay mm, now we just paste it into the conditions just like that Also, I, I still need that ID29 because I changed the text. So now let's copy this. Now we can paste it here. Okay. That should be good. Now conditions. Well, I guess I could just delete the conditions here. Because I'm still going to generate the conditions again. So, okay, uh, let me comment that out. Now for the conditions. Need to do that for every race, right? So what do I need to insert? Here, actually, I need to build an insert query because we have too many fields 
that I actually don't care about. So, but first let's do select. So select, what do we need to insert? We need title ID. It's this one, title ID, we have it. Acquisition type two. Let me close the status effect so I don't switch into that all the time. <coughs> Now, we don't care about quest ID, NPC model ID. That can be difficult because we either need to delegate all of that to one single NPC. So for every like monster slayer title, you would have to go to one specific NPC and the NPC will assign the title for you. Or we can try and split those in between multiple NPCs. So my idea was to assign that to, uh, how do they call it, the, the disologists. And my idea was to actually do that for the same set of NPCs that are present, like in that particular uh, zoologist list of cards that he can craft. So, for example, for uh, Conrad Flint, we will have only titles for the Hadmimis region. Then for Monica, we will have the Prontera region and so on. Or we can just put all of them, assign all of them to one specific NPC. Hmm. Mm, right now I'm trying to like imagine what would the dialogue look like for every zoologist NPC. Like right now we have to have Conrad and we have Monica. Uh, and what would they say when they give you this title? For Monica it can be something interesting actually like Oh my god you're a monster Stop killing the poor creature, something like that. But Conrad, I don't think he really cares about that too much. But actually, maybe, why, why not? Hmm. I don't know. Let's, let's go with Monica. For now, I think that I think she can have much more interest in dialogue. So, so we need to get NPC model ID. So NPC prototypes. So let's go find Monica Reynolds. Right? No, I'm not even sure. Wow. Hello, hello, am I online? I hope I am, I think I am. I have no idea what's going on with my internet lately. It's been a lot of disconnects, I need to take a look into that. Maybe I can improve that situation. Actually, let me check one thing real quick. Sorry, I'm gonna go in the BRB screen. I don't want to dox myself. One, one, one minute, minute, please.
Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I can see that one of my providers actually dropped connection. Okay, I need to write down who that was. Because I, I technically have two ISP connections coming to my house, but looks like one of them currently is dead which is great and looks like i was streaming through that connection that just died so it took my router some time to detect that and switch to a different one crap that, that's not good I, i've already thought that um i can create some kind of uh, network bonding because yeah i have an advantage of having two isp connections the problem is they are load balanced so and yeah basically when i connect to twitch it connects to it connects through one sig single isp connection and when it when it drops the packets drop until uh, the load balancer detects that the connection is dead and it switches to a different connection it's still better than just going offline completely like if i had just that single one asp connection my stream would be dead but i would still like to have shorter at least um, shorter disconnects Maybe I can tweak load balancer somehow. Or actually create some kind of connection bonding. I, I don't know. I, 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 I'll, I'll take a look. So yeah, Monica Reynolds. I didn't confuse her with anyone else. So here I need to add that ID. Let me actually write that down. Uh, like assign the, the fields as... Uh, title id right yeah title id acquisition type i'm just gonna copy the name because it's easy for me to do some type or make a typo now this is npc model id Okay, weird. Hopefully, I, I will solve this disconnection problem. Guess it gets a nine. Or maybe if it's just constantly one of the ISPs, one particular one, maybe I can switch Twitch streaming to the second one. I, I don't know. So, uh, wait. What was it the conditions dialogue name i need to do this with concat title underscore then i need 10000 plus ad as dialogue name something like that then, then, everything else is not required, right, right, we have default values or it can be null, so now we need to configure the, the statistics conditions, How does that look like? Require statistics type. Let me copy that. So that one was uh, 43, right? 43 is kills per NPC race AD. Yeah, perfect. Forty 
3. Then for sub ID, I need the race ID, right? Yeah. For sub type. No, ID as for subtype, and then we do 30,000. So yeah, for, for every race, we will have this 30,000 requirement to actually get this race title. Do we have any anything else in the requirement? No, that should be good enough. Now, then that we have this this table, now we need to create the insert query. So insert into character title conditions. into columns, title ID, acquisition type, NPC model ID, dialogue name, oops, 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 dialogue name, require statistics type, require statistics subtype, and the third one is Choir Statistics Min Value. I'm going to assign the alias where ID is more than that. This ID insert that's a typo. Let me double check the select. Okay, that looks good. Can forty three kill per NPC race ID. Yeah, that's 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 the one I want. Now we can execute the query, mm, but we still have that title. Oh, actually, that should be fine. Can delete it later. We have an error in SQL syntax. Here we go. Uh, now if we look here, yeah, now we have all our titles. And we can delete title 29 because we already have it. So let's delete this one. Actually, let me check the other values. Yeah, looks good. So now I have the conditions for these titles. Actually, before I do that, let me see how that looks like in the game. Because maybe that's a good idea to add so many titles like that. Uh, and that reminds me, I wanted to create a field here in this table called priority that would define sorting. So we will sort by priority, then by AD. But okay, for now we can forget about that. 
we already have those sorted like by IDs. So uh, let's do database to CSV. Hello. Oh, wait, wrong file, this one. Okay, and then we compile the files for the client and start the client. So right now we should have something around 78 titles or something like that in the list. So it's already a pretty big list. But yeah, most of those are these generic ones. That's that that doesn't look really good. Exterminate every merfolk. No, I would have to change that manually, at least for this one. Where is it? Here. Uh, I guess I just say it like experiment every merman and mermaid. that you can find. Because I don't think it's correct to say it like that, like exterminate every merfolk. Because merfolk is like a name of a group of entities. So we have that. Do we have any more races like that? Every poro poro, yeah, that sounds good. Every mice, yeah, this is bad. Every mouse in here, every red squid. That, that looked good. <clears throat> All right. Um, so now that we have titles, we have conditions, we need dialogues. Crap. So time for another query. Uh, let's start with this one. So for the dialogues, where are the dialogues? Dialog template. Q 
here. We need to generate something like that. Here we can just copy the data. So first of all, uh, let's generate this one, character title. Then it's going to be concat of character title underscore and the number then we need this thing let's get rid of all of that for now so we gonna put this here and let's do it like this backslash r backslash n i hope that works let's test that yeah that works and now here we need again the same the same id like that okay looks good then we need the name of the npc and that one is Monica Reynolds. Okay. Oh my God, we we will have a bunch of dialogue texts, text files to generate, but it's okay, whatever. So for this one, guess oh i i don't have the um the dialogue yet for that one so we can create a new one can i paste wait i need to do that at the bottom otherwise it's gonna just replace the data Character title, character title underscore ID starting from 10,000. Then the file definitions, Monica Reynolds. Let's save that. And now, and now, we need to generate a bunch of files. How do we do that? I don't really want to. I don't really want to create all those fi files manually. That would be a hassle. Uh, so do we use Python? Do we use PHP? My PHP is still working here. Let me see, because that probably is going to be the, the, the fastest way. Yes, it's there. Okay, so let's create a simple PHP script. <clears throat> so I need the IDs. Don't really want to connect to my SQL. Ah, crap. I guess I have the CSV files. It's easy to read from CSV files. Oh, do I need to do that? I think I do. That's still the easiest way to generate a bunch of files like that without creating manually. So, 
you need to do is there was something like get lines there was a simple way oh I've get CSV nice resource okay so let's do that so this one is gonna be here then we need to go one two three four five times up one two three four five Wow, Visual Studio Code is not really intelligent when it comes to that, but okay, let's do that game data, CSV, NPC races, CSV. What? Then, I just copied that because I don't really care. What is one thousand length? Ah, okay, the line length. Okay, well, let's just output that. Let's do PHP underscore g dot php. File not found, I guess. Okay, great. We have that. So that is zero and one. We need to skip the first line. Because that's the ID, that, that's the headers, the race. Or rather, I plus plus equals zero. Okay. Okay. Actually, I need to skip one, two, three. Actually, if data zero, is equals to ID or data zero to less than five, then we continue. Okay, well, now we're starting with five. Uh, okay, <clears throat> now, now we need to generate the XML file. So we're just gonna do file put contents file name is gonna be title id is 10,000 plus data zero so file put contents title.xml And then data is going to be here doc of XML. OK, 
Actually, do I need semicolon here? I don't think I do. And for now, let's let's just do one generation like that. So XML is gonna look like look like this. So this is gonna be our Monica. Monica Reynolds. And this is gonna be the title. I guess data one. Can you do it like that though? I think you can, I'm not sure. But the problem is, the problem is, I need a plural version of the names here. Okay, let, let, let's start with something simple. Let's just generate one file and see if the substitution works because it can be not the case. Yeah, it does work. Okay, perfect. I'm not sure why Visual Studio Code doesn't highlight that. Okay, it does work. Um, so here, I need to Compose our dialogue. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so, uh, for the dialogue. Mm, something like wait 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 um next line I keep forgetting how how to do this next line stuff guess I didn't write the dialogues enough lately. But yeah, it looks like it's like that. Okay, just double checking. So... So wait, 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 are these numbers correct? Why, why did... Um, did you really kill so many? Yeah, like here we would need like a plural version of the race name. Can we rephrase the re rephrase that um, to a singular version? Also, I need to change this to Linux line breaks. 
So let me double check that that worked. Yes. If I checked wrong file, yeah, still it works. Um, how can we rephrase that? Well, we, we, we actually can say it's similar to what we have in the title description. So did you really kill every Pukui that you could find? Every single Pukui that you could find? But I don't really think that's what I'm looking for. Uh, well, let's do it right for now like that. Now, just talking about numbers. I don't know. Oh, let's keep that for now. Well, as a quick fix, I can just append S here for English language that will work for most of those. I would still have to fix some of those manually. But for now, let's let's skip this. Maybe I can come up with a different, uh, like different structure. Um, so, did you really kill so many pukuis? I try and Mm. Like what what I'm trying to say here is like I'm trying to make them like disappear from the face of the earth completely or something like that but without saying earth because i don't we don't really have the name of the world that the game is uh, the name of the game world <clears throat> And also this this formulation is not really what I'm looking for, what I'm going for. So I, oh maybe I'm trying to completely exterminate every single one of those poor creatures. Mm.
like can't do that. Um, how do you say it? Like the 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 whole kind of species can disappear like that or something like that. Uh, how do I say this? Crap. And now I lost my train of thought. I don't even know what the hell I was saying. <clears throat> so you can't do that. Oh. Mm. I'm struggling to formulate this. Mm. The whole kind of species is that correct way of saying this. Can can completely disappear. If you continue doing this, mm. also, I wanted to add another sentence. Be a monster. <laughs> be a monster, you can't do that. All kind of species can completely disappear if you continue doing this. Uh, <laughs> also, I don't, I don't really want this dialogue to be so big. It's 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 not what I'm going for. But okay, let, let, let's do it like that. Like that. What does she say when you just talk to her? I guess right now she doesn't have her own dialogue. She should just she should just say something like greetings or welcome, I don't remember. Some generic dialogue. Greetings. Huh. Let's do just anyway, comma, greetings. Now, can we rephrase that so we can use the singular version of the name? Uh, 
also these two sentences are too similar, I think. Um, maybe I can change that. <clears throat> so, for example, did you really kill so many Pekus? Wait, I lost my thought. Crap, I had an idea and <laughs> it's gone. Um, did you really kill so many Pekus? Oh, like something like you monster what those poor creatures did to you. Or something like that. And then we're gonna do something in between these two messages. Can't do that, the whole kind of species can completely disappear or... Mm. Yeah, I can get rid of this message. Only if you can't do that, the whole kind of species can completely disappear if you continue to do that. Let's let's first save what I have here real quick. What's going on? Ah, crap, I can't. This is stupid. Now what's wrong? Oh, I guess the, the tag, <laughs> the PHP tag. This is stupid. Okay, that should do it. Yeah, PHP can be really stupid sometimes. Uh, or I can be. Uh, uh, so, can remove this message, can do your master what well, those poor creatures did to you? Uh, don't think that's the way of saying this. Okay, well, let's compare. So, wait, wait, wait. Are those numbers correct? Did you really kill so many Pekus? Uh, trying to completely exterminate every single one of those poor creatures. Your monster, you can't do that. The whole kind of species can completely disappear if you continue doing it. Yeah, th this, is, this is bad. Also, instead of continue doing this, I can just remove that. That should sound a little better. Actually, let's check. I try to completely exterminate every single one of those poor creatures. You monster, you can't do that. The whole kind of species can completely disappear if you continue. If you continue. Still doesn't sound good. But okay. What about the second version? Did you really kill so many Pekus? You monster, what those poor creatures did to you? Sounds rough. Can't do that, the whole kind of species can completely disappear if you continue. Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> Please help, uh, because, yeah, speaking is hard. Um, also, still, I need to come up with some idea, ideally, to switch to singular version of the race. Sounds a bit negative towards the player, but... <laughs> Well, well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> but yeah, that's the idea. 
<clears throat> so again, what does she say right now? Greetings. Anyway, greetings. Okay. Okay. Mm. Are these numbers correct? Is that a frog blood all over here? <laughs> How many did you kill? Uh, okay. That's a good idea, actually. But yeah, the first page... The first page should be different then. Okay, I think that's a good idea. Let's... Let's... Copy this. Save this for now. Just in case. Uh, is that a frog blood all over you? Well, we already have what is this smell? <laughs> uh, and yeah, I don't know. Well, maybe. So wait, where? How many did you kill? So let's write that down. That, that is actually a really nice idea. I like that. Yeah, let's let's start with the first sentence. So is that a frog blood all over you? How many did you kill? <coughs> because yeah, uh, my version like in intends that she knows she has some kind of records that you killed so many monsters, which may be weird. But your version actually, in, like, intends that y you tell her how many you kill when she asks you. So maybe, maybe something like that. Maybe we don't even need to start with something different. So, okay, you, you click on her, and yeah, just, she just says, is that a frog blood all over you? How many did you kill? You monster, what those poor creatures did to you? Can't do that. The whole kind of species can completely disappear if you continue. You need to stop, okay? Anyway, greetings. That's better, but still sounds a little bit rough. Maybe we can even shorten this a little bit. Um, if I remove this page, what those poor creatures did to you, you need to stop. No, I would like to wake deliver a message to the player that she actually cares about like the balance of monsters in the world or something like that so i think i'm gonna leave it like that I want to see that in the game. Can do that actually pretty easily by modifying the default dialogue that she's 
displaying right now and just add a few pages in front well yeah that, that's fine we can imagine that she says uh, something about also i wanted to highlight that uh, with usual yellow color so is that a frog blood all over you? how many did you kill? a monster, what those poor creatures did to you? can do that, the whole kind of species can completely disappear if you continue you need to stop, okay? anyway creatures well, there wouldn't be like an empty page, but yeah so let's copy this back to our PHP script <laughs> I think that's good enough and yeah that's great that we can just use the singular form will that work with yeah is that merfolk blood and all over you yeah that, that will work that's actually perfect ancient beetle blood yeah Thank you for this idea. This is great, actually. So, I think we are ready to generate all the files. Do I have spell checker here? No, I don't think I need to run a spell checker real quick just in case and I need to install spell checker in this editor into this editor also I need to paste a plain text how do I paste a plain text in in a word like that what does it want normal cannot that's okay I think so yeah why does it want a cannot version Okay, well, let's imagine here actually saying that you cannot do that. You can't do that. You cannot do. Okay, let's go with a cannot actually. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Let's run the script. I also need to remove this return so we generate the whole set of files yeah let me move the script to a different folder now just in case uh, generate 
uh, race layer titles title dialog okay but yeah now we have our files so let's open one of those okay Let's now copy this into the default dialog. Let's take a quick final look. Uh, older pack. Is that a bomb bomb blood all over you? How many did you kill? The monster or those per creatures did to you? Cannot do that. All kind of species can completely disappear if you continue. You need to stop, okay? Anyway, greetings. I think it's good enough. Let's bring back the default dialog. So yeah, now we have all those titles. <coughs> so let's double check. The titles themselves are there. I already have those in the game. That looks good. When you open that, the lock that I mean, you have defeated every squid that you could find. Please come down. Okay. Then we have title conditions. All of them tied to Monica Reynolds. Mm, we have the dialogue name. We have them tied to statistics. Need to kill 30,000 of each kind. Now the dialogues. Let's try to find by the exact match. Yeah. Then the dialogues point to this thing. Ten thousand zero zero five. Ten thousand zero zero five. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, what else do we need? Well, we need the bonuses, but for now we don't have any bonuses on these titles, and for now we're gonna leave it like that. That's gonna be after the the next update. For now, I just need the titles. Okay. Um, We also, I think I forgot to actually generate. Let me check. Yeah, I still need to generate a few dialogues. That's uh, actually, let, let me close all of that and then open these. So, um, we need the dialogues also for these ones. Wait, the frog slayer? Number nine? That couldn't be the case. No, ah, okay. So yeah, this is... Diligence. And this is not Conrad Flint, this is Maurice Kachiana. Uh, 
So again, let me double check for the previous titles. F1 through 10, but we don't have all the conditions. We don't have uh, conditions for Imperium Breaker. So 1 through 7, 5, 6, 7, then 9 and 10. Copy this, name it. 10. This is going to be the lazy. Okay. We have stinky. That, that's, that's good enough. Lucky, sturdy, skillful, precise, wise, and strong. Intelligent and the lazy. Also, I need to double check that we have the dialogues for those. Crap, it's not nice that they are split in, but okay, enough, good for good enough for now. Actually, maybe we can start with one thousand. Yeah, maybe we can start the numeration of titles with 1000, that way it will be nicer organized. Actually, it's not, it's still not going to be the same. So whatever, let's do it with just one, two and so on. Maybe these ones, the file names for the initial ones, could contain one more leading zero. Also, I need to stop obsessing about the numbers. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I guess I need to reopen them now. We don't need seven. Okay, so we have all the dialogues and we have all the files, we have all the conditions. One through seven and then nine and ten. Yes. Okay. So now, now, actually, this is easily fixable. I just name the dialogues like that. They cannot be sorted properly. Yep. That's perfect. And then here I need to also add those leading zeros. I think I made a mistake there. Uh, where is the 10? Oh, we don't have it. Why? We need it. That's the lazy title. Okay. 
And it's not said Birter, this is Marius. Okay. Now that's fixed. Um crap. <laughs> Writing dialogues is probably the hardest thing for me to do in this project. <clears throat> uh, can't think about anything about the diligent and the lazy. The wise. Mm. Can do something like I don't know. Ah, uh, it's nice to speak to another intelligent person like like me or something like that. I don't know. Uh this is gonna be said by Maria Schicciana. Mm. No, no, no. Oh, 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 I have an idea. Um. Oh, let me see those muscles. I can see you've been working out lately. Uh, poof. I don't know. Let's skip for now. Let's write down the, the intelligent person thing for now, or I will still remember it, I will fine tune it. Um, so, So intelligent or so well educated. Um hello RTBT. I'm getting good trying to finish the titles and the the hardest part probably <laughs> that's left is the dialogues. Struggling with that. How are you doing? <clears throat> like will Maritz um, say it in a way like Dialogues for quests. Not really. This is dialogues that will appear when you acquire a title from an NPC. So you speak with an NPC, NPC sees, like, I don't know, some conditions for the title that are met, and so he gives you the title. And when, uh, when the NPC does that, um they will basically say something about that to you and then the normal dialogue will resume after that so 
So for example, for the strong title, which you acquire when you um, level up your strength to the maximum, you can speak with Marie Scaciana and he will say something. I didn't finalize this, but yeah, he will say something, something like, oh, let me see those muscles. I can see you've been working out lately. Great work, keep it up. And then it will continue to the, the normal dialogue as if you would just pick with the NPC normally. And yeah, I need a bunch of those dialogues for every kind of title. Also, I had another idea, probably that would never happen because it's so hard for me to write dialogues, but I had an idea that uh, some NPCs could react to you wearing a, a specific title, like, um, I don't know, for, for the stinky title, for example, they will like notice that you smell or something like that. Again, in front of a normal dialogue. But that would be even more work with the dialogues and I don't really want to bother with that. So probably never gonna happen. <laughs> okay, uh, let me write down what I come up with for now. Uh, it's nice to speak to another intelligent person. Uh, one second. Another intelligent person like myself, I don't know. Or just, just that can be enough, at least for now. Um, very educated person I don't know, for now we're gonna leave it at that, I'm gonna come back to that later. Precise, that's one for the concentration. Mm. I have no idea. The skillful for the decks. Like I need to come up with some kind of idea for the NPC to notice that you have maximum concentration or maximum dexterity. Why did I do this to myself? Why couldn't I just automatically assign titles as soon as you met the, the conditions? <laughs> Why do I have to uh, create a dialogue for each, each title? <laughs> Literally made myself, my, my life harder. Uh, okay.
Oh, I have one idea. Not sure yet um, on which of the titles to use it. Like, oh, you're the one that can land the hit 100 times in a row without missing or something like that. Mm, let me write that down so I don't forget. Uh, not just who, uh, like the one that they say can land a hit. I, I don't know. Oh. I went wait 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 not not one hundred hits why why do I do that uh who can uh pro hit the squirrel in the eye from some kind of distance. <laughs> I don't know. Um, or maybe it hits. And the hundred hits and never miss once. That's pretty impressive. Do I do it like not gonna lie? Or would that be not really appropriate for that character? <laughs> okay, dexterity. Dexterity, dexterity. Can do something opposite to that one. Like I the one who can evade every hit or something like that. Mm. Again, let me write that down. We will think about it a little later. What can we 
come up with can evade every hit while doing something at the same time that's my idea right now while what can we do um <laughs> while fighting a dozen of enemies. At a time. Let's split that. Actually, I don't think we need space here. I think it could concatenate with a space. I guess I would need to check that. Oh, I am the one who can evade every single hit while fighting a dozen of enemies at a time. We can add the same replica, that's pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Um, okay. Sturdy, that's vita vitality. Uh, po -po 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 -po. I have absolutely zero idea. Mm. We can say something about character being big but I'm not sure if that's a good idea maybe we can say something like maybe the one who can never die or I don't know <laughs> okay what's, what's next Lucky, lucky. Here can be something as simple as are you the luckiest person around? Oh. No, I think I need something more interesting. Um, another thing about these dialogues is most likely no one, well, most of the players would probably never even notice those because at the point when you have like 99th strength or we killed 30,000 monsters. Probably if you went to speak to this NPC, you're probably going there for a quest or to visit a shop or something like that. And you stopped reading the dialogues this NPC produces a long time ago. <laughs> so another thing against these dialogues, but still I think I, I want to have them. That's a nice touch. No, you, you can't reach 99 stats right now. But yeah, you need to have 99 stats to get the title. But yeah, maybe that will be reachable soon enough. 
that I guess is somewhere around level 45-ish. <clears throat> that said, uh, that's only if you focus on one single step. Probably. <clears throat> I have no idea what to do with the lucky, the diligent, uh, the diligent. We have one dialogue for this same NPC. I think it was quest 13. No, probably quest 12. This one, I think. It already work hard and help the residents I respect that, so this is what he says. Maybe for now, like, I, I don't really, I can't really come up with something original here, so maybe let's for now just rephrase the, the same thing. Mm, open the residence. Uh, earning money, maybe. No, I don't think it's a good idea to say it here. Uh, open the residence. Um, crap. The problem is, it's the same NPC. He's gonna say the same thing twice even probably within the same dialogue. It's not gonna look very good. But for now let's let's finish this version. Mm. I don't know, like, like it, it's, it's like floating somewhere in my head that they something that they were trying to say here, 
but they can't really translate that into a like a comprehensive sentence uh, I don't know what about the lazy uh here we can actually do something oh great it's you uh speak of the devil let me get a new line uh code Uh, I have been receiving complaints about your work. work lately yes let's see um Like how, how how else can you say like um not finishing the work in time? Just an idea, wait, wait, you always keep running around helping the town people like a hamster in a wheel. Do you even take a break? Let's have some coffee for a break. That's nice, that's cute. yeah probably that's a good idea one second uh I'm, I'm trying to formulate my my thought here mm. crap My mind is blank. So, um, slacking on the job, um, something like I can say that in Ukrainian, I, I don't think I know a nice expression in English. Maybe Google knows. Um, breaking deadlines but that's too modern i think for the language that they speak um what are synonyms of deadlines time limit no Maybe we can set deadlines. It just doesn't sound good enough for a fantasy game. <laughs> I don't know. Um,
Okay, Let, let's forget about that. Um, what else can we say? I can say something like very much simpler, like not completing the tasks in time. At least for now, maybe I can come up with a better formulation. Let's make it another line. On time, probably. It's in the delivery foot. <laughs> Taking a nap with Pukuis. <sighs> you have some good ideas. Uh, It's in the delivery food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should include that, but I really like it. <laughs> uh... I think I, I am going to include that. It's in the delivery foot. Maybe we can actually say something related to the actual condition, uh, like disappearing for a month after being given a, a task or something like that. Just yeah, one week in real time that we are, we are tracking right now for this title is something like yeah it it is 12 weeks in game time which is a lot <laughs> um After being entrusted with a task, that award <laughs> English, please. Yeah. Although I'm not entirely sure if you can actually say that in a sentence. Yeah, looks like you can. Okay, great. Uh, taking a nap with Pukuis. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Wait, uh, let's, let's think, how, how do we end this dialogue? Uh, one sec, one sec, one sec.
Like one one option would be to if you don't stop this if you if you don't stop being so lazy, no one would ever um like again entrust you with a task for but we need to say it in a different or in different words uh sick uh, let me write that portion down first mm. Don't stop being so lazy. No one would ever trust you. Or no one would ever give you responsibility. I don't know. Diligent or diligent, how do you spell it? Diligent. Something like that. Uh, <clears throat> that's not being lazy. Um, disappearing for a month after being given a task. Uh, no one would ever entrust you with a job. <clears throat> so let's see. Uh, oh great, it's you, speak of the devil. It's been, I've been receiving complaints about your work lately. Yes, let's see. Uh, slacking on the job, eating the delivery food, disappearing for a month after being given a task. If you don't stop being so lazy, no one would ever entrust you with a job. No one would ever. <laughs> entrust you a something. No one would ever oh. people like diligent people who does their job in time keep that in mind let me ask microsoft about that maybe it can help me a little bit no i don't know that Can you say something like that? I mean, not something like that, but can you say it exactly like that? No one would ever entrust you with a job. I don't think that's correct. 
and I have no idea how to how to do that, how to say that the proper way. No one would ever trust you a job, maybe, or I don't know. Maybe it is correct. Google is actually doing the same thing. When I try to translate it from Ukrainian, like I have that in my mind, trust you with a job or with a task okay maybe that is correct <laughs> maybe i should i don't know start trusting my interest in my english skills <laughs> a little bit more uh, okay so back to this thing what was your idea uh, i always keep running around helping the town people like a hamster in a wheel. That's actually said pretty great. Do you even take a break? Let's have some coffee for a break. Not sure about the coffee. But I really like the other part. <laughs> you always keep running around helping the town people like a hamster in a wheel. Really like that one. Let's put that into the dialogue. Maybe something like you again. Um, with another task, but technically the player can be without any tasks. But still, maybe we can say that. Mm. Okay, not, not to ask how, how do we say it in a different way, like... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Crap, I just had that in my mind and it slipped away. Uh, another errand. You again busy with another errand and you always keep running around helping the town people like a hamster in a wheel. 
Uh, do you want to take a break? Yeah, that, that's also good. I can say something like keep up the good work. I don't know. I don't even know how to end this dialogue. Also, I keep forgetting that this is not the end of the dialogue. After that, that's going to be like a generic greeting from the NPC. What does he say? Right, what? Ah, the STR. <laughs> All the titles. Okay, sorry. It's, it says greetings. What brings you to me? Yeah, I've got all the titles. <laughs> Guess I forgot to restart the server after I reverted the, the conditions. Um, wait, what does he say? Greetings. Crap. That's a problem because this dialogue appears before the main dialogue. So yeah, when you speak with the NPC and the title conditions are met, it shows you the dialogue for the title. Then as soon as the dialogue for the title finishes, it goes straight to the default dialogue or the quest dialogue if quest replaces the main dialogue. So yeah, it's just the beginning of the conversation. I also take this some kind of item or task with you that would imply that uh, you receive something besides the title that you need to do with. I don't know. Um, I can just say keep up the good work and that would fit. I think that's that's good enough. Let's do that. Keep up the good work. Uh, and we need to transition to greetings now. Um, I already used anyway multiple times. So I need to come up with something different. Uh, I just had some something in my uh, in my thoughts, uh, but again, slipped away. 
maybe something like oh by the way greetings <laughs> okay so okay that way easy yeah here we also need to transition to greetings You are still there. You are still here. Um, not next page, next line. I guess. Mm, one second, second, sec. Then I guess, and then it goes to greetings. Maybe. We still need to look for the lucky, look for the sturdy. Here we need a transition. <sighs> okay, um, let me see. Let me double check all of that to have right now. Let me see those muscles. I can see you've been working out lately. Great work, keep it up. I don't like that. Mm. Oh. Um, don't squeeze my hand so hard it hurts. <laughs> Maybe. How do you spell this thing? Guess that's how, okay. Don't squeeze my hand so hard. Can you break it? Haha. <laughs> and actually, greetings fits with that. Because that, that's, that implies that you shake his hand. And so he says greetings. Um. You've been working out lately. Didn't you? Or how do you say it? Okay, that's good enough. Uh, now the wise. Uh, it's so nice to speak to another intelligent and very educated person. Yes, yes. I don't know. It's cringe a little bit. But I have no idea what to say. Okay, what else? The precise. Oh, are you the one who can land the hundred hits and never miss once? That's pretty impressive, not gonna lie.
skillful or uh, are you the one who can evade every single hit while fighting a dozen of enemies at a time? That's pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Sturdy. That's for the vitality. Mm. Vitality gives you health. What can you say about health? Maybe you can say exactly like that, like what a healthy person. I don't know. Uh, it also gives you death. Can't say strong, because that's a separate attribute. Maybe we can come up with something like, like this one. Okay, lucky, lucky. Mm. I like a pretty simple one or paper scissors you win. Never did I lose to anyone three times. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know, to be honest. But maybe, maybe, it's just if we're gonna go with this approach, I think I would need something like something that leads to that. Mm. Like something they say you're extremely lucky. Is that true? Prove it. So let's play rock, paper, scissors. Hmm. <laughs> uh, wait, what did they say? <laughs> I already forgot. Um, they say. Uh, you're the luckiest one around, maybe, or
can't type anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> can't place my hands properly. Keep missing the keys. They saying you're the luckiest one around. Prove it. Let's play. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's play uh, rock, paper. rock, rock, paper, scissors. Uh, but to let me warn you, I never lose. Something like that. Maybe not. Mm. Maybe. Pretty sure I spelled it incorrectly. Yeah. How do you spell it then? And like that. And I will check. Yeah. Need to remember this. I, I do this mistake a lot. Unbelievable.
And actually, let me highlight uh, this one. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let's grab this color and highlight the R. R. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, probably I need to fix it a little bit. Um, that's it anyway for now. I'm gonna probably if I can change it later. So I would see they say you're the luckiest one around. Prove it. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. But let me warn you, I never lose. Um, maybe I've never lost before. Maybe I never lose. Um, ready? Oh, all right, all right, you won this time. Let's do another round. Uh -um. Let's do best of three. Ready? No way, you won the second time. No one was ever lucky enough to beat me three times in a row. How about best of five? Ready? Unbelievable. The rumors, the rumors must be true. You are the luckiest one around. I think I like it. Good idea, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> So for the third, what can you say about a tanky person? <clears throat> the Diana is dancing on my head. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> That the last one that I have, the last one that I have no idea what to do about. Okay, let's let's think about it. Uh, What can be improved? Something to start with, like, look at all the scratches and damages on your heavy armor. There may be no shield. Maybe no heavy armor. But yeah, we can... I can say something about scratches mm, I don't know <laughs> Also I just noticed his animation is glitchy. He's twitching. Weird. Mm. Something like again, uh, um. Are you the one who always comes out um, like 
alive from a combat or maybe I don't know maybe unscratched <laughs> from a combat but yeah probably that's not um good idea You're the one who can uh, take a beating from a dozen of enemies, uh, but still stay smiling, something like that. I don't know. Who can stand there smiling back at your enemies when in an, an even fight? I don't know. Are you the one who was attacked by a dozen of bandits? Uh, wait. but managed to... Um, ah, I don't know. <laughs> but at least now I have small, like... Uh, thin thread of thoughts <laughs> into that direction. I, I just need to express my thoughts You're the one who stood in front of the field, in front of the battlefield, smiling back at your enemies uh, after receiving the mightiest hit from the bandits leader. <laughs> I don't know. My man fixes thousands of lines of code. <laughs> I thought you are proposing a line of the dialogue, and I was starting to read that as it would Maurice Kitchen would say that. <laughs> Yeah, my biggest enemies. Creating some achievement texts. Indeed it is. It's it's really hard for me to write some dialogues. Because first of all, like 
English is, is, is not my native language, that's for once, then also just speaking nicely is a big challenge for me. And yeah, I've never like wrote anything big enough. But yeah, I guess um, the more I work on this, the easier it would get. It's just I don't really um, enjoy working on that because it's so hard for me. So I end up just uh, leaving that for later and then for later and then I forget what I did, what how, how I actually did that. So like after I wrote those dialogues for the initial um, mainster request, it started to come much faster the, the more I did that in the end. But then get scared about the volume of the text that I need to write for the uh, for the next story and I just ended up working on something else. And now I again have to learn that basically. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's very tedious to, to write the dialogues. Especially good dialogues. I I still can't do that. Like ideally you would have to actually think how exactly how this character that you're trying to speak on behalf of would say those words. Maurice would probably speak in a different way a little bit if that would be designed properly, not like I'm doing that right now, but for now that would do. <clears throat> so what was it what was I doing? There are legends floating around about you. Uh, they say um, yeah 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 I can always improve that later and yeah that, that's the that's the main thing that I need to learn to do just start working on what needs to be done, even if it's hard, even if I don't really know how to do that right away, I will figure it out. It's just, I need to at least start working on that. That proved to be uh, a good strategy. So yeah, I need to stop slacking and switch into something that I know how to do. <laughs> And actually do something that I need to do. <clears throat> mm. Say that you beat the bandits. But again, it, it can happen that um, the player who actually speaks with the Maurice right now uh, never actually fought the bandits, but okay, maybe not the bandits. Maybe we can make it a little a little bit more abstract. But for now, we can stick to bandits. Let, let's just lay down on the text file the thoughts that I have about that. Um, the Bandit Gang. W let's skip this for now. Um, how did I say that <laughs> a few minutes ago? Like you... Yeah. No, this is not for killing the bandit boss. That, that's that's the problem that I need to fix. This is uh, for reaching 99 
vitality. So this is basically for you being tanky. So my idea right now is the, the, the NPC is going to describe some legends that are allegedly uh, being spoken about the player that they managed to survive uh, after some kind of huge devastating hit from the bandit leader uh, I don't know Um, no, 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 no. Uh, you get the achievement by speaking to the NPC. So you reach the 99 strength, you, you don't get anything automatically. You need to speak to some NPC who would give you the title after the NPC uh, detects basically that you met certain conditions for the title. That's the idea that someone in the game should actually call you with that title for you to receive it, for you for, for the title to stick to your character or something like that. That's like the lore behind the titles. And this is why this is how they they work. So basically you reach 99 strength and when you speak to the NPC with 99 strength then you get the title from the NPC. Yeah, this is text when the NPC gives you the title. Yes. So basically the, the NPC is impressed of your achievement. And this is the dialogue about that. Is that how you spell this? Past fault, yeah. Say that you've fought Bandit Gang and uh, came mm, mm, how do you say it? Managed to came out Unscathed, is that the word? Unscathed. That's the word that I'm thinking of. Managed to... Um, can you say come out? of combat, when speaking, like, come out of combat. Um, let's just write that down so I don't forget the, the unscathed. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Um, One sec, one sec. <laughs> I, I have some kind of idea, it's just, it's, it's very vague. Um,
say you are smiling back at your enemies after receiving how can you say something uh like it might hit that would devastate anyone can you say it like that doesn't sound good still um, to receive in blah 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 um, that would make anyone like fall to the ground or f Humble. You say you were smiling like at your enemies. To receive a hit that would. That would make anyone crumble. You check that one. I'm insecure right now about my English. Not sure if I if you can say that about a person. I think you can. <clears throat> well, I'm like like as I said, I I'm not even sure why I even implemented the system like that. I thought that's a good idea to like give the player some kind of nice dialogue when they receive a title and yeah bring some lore to to to, to that event but yeah it's gonna be extremely tedious especially for me to write dialogues for every title in the game <laughs> i just made my life much more harder <clears throat> but yeah for example for this uh the strong title which uh which is given to you when you reach 99 strength uh, he says something like oh let me see those muscles very nice you've been working out lately didn't you don't squeeze my hands or heart you're gonna break it so Still sounds a little bit odd, but it should be something like that. Okay, so let's see. Oh, let's see. There are legends floating around about you. They say you fought the bandit gang and managed to come out and skate. They, they say you were smiling back at your enemies after receiving a hit that would make anyone crumble. Uh, still not sure if you can say that, um, but okay, let, let's continue that, that thought. Um, is that true? Mm-hmm. I do, I do, I do. Uh, crap. <laughs> so, um, well, again, and it, it, this was something like that's that's impressive. Now, can we get rid of the bandits? Can we make it a little bit more generic? But 
Like we can do something like we did with other titles. Like they, they thought you were attacked by a dozen of enemies, maybe. Yeah, I think that's that's better. Um, two dozen enemies, two dozens, two 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 dozens of enemies. How do you say that? Two dozen enemies. Um, okay, so uh, they say you were attacked by. Two dozen. Is that really how you spell it? Two dozen or two dozens? Two dozen. Okay. That, that that's weird to me a little bit. That's that part of English. Uh, sounds weird to me. But okay. And they say you were attacked by two dozen enemies and managed to come out unscathed. Uh, they say you were smiling back at your enemies after receiving a hit that would devastate. That would. That would devastate anyone, maybe. Or that that would make anyone crumble. Is that really true? Are all those legends true? Now it's your adventure. There are many tales about you in town. I'm not to even talk about Spanish. Wow. Okay. That, that, that's some next level <laughs> English. <laughs> uh, Okay. I'm not doing it the tough the toughest of falls managed to make you flinch. Certainly amazing you look as sturdy as an oak. That's that's actually great. <laughs> like Yeah, yeah. For some reason, I was avoiding uh, like hidden title, the actual title text to the dialogue. Not sure why. It's dangerous to go along. Take this. <clears throat> <laughs> the scar that he has is the is actually from the the I got what the what's the word? I can't say into English anymore. Uh that's from the shark. Uh, like okay, <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's write that down. I really liked uh, this one. Mm, so, there are many tales about you in town. Mm. I can try to have some free time again to keep level in my chair. Yeah. <laughs> I also wanted to play the game a little bit, but yeah, 
I uh, have to work on that first. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to just keep that exactly like that. And not even the toughest files managed to make a flinch. Yeah, I like that much better. So I'm gonna make that like that. Then I come back to the normal dialogue with anyway. I don't know. I still need to figure out a better way of doing that. Um, because yeah, another thing about these dialogues is they appear before the normal dialogue. So when you speak to the NPC, and um, it happens that you're you met the conditions for the new title, this dialogue appears. In the end of the dialogue, you receive the title, and immediately the normal dialogue starts, as if you would just click the NPC. And it can be just a generic greeting, or it can be uh, a quest text, if the quest actually replaces the default dialogue, some quests do. So yeah, after the end of this dialogue, we need to somehow bring the, the speech back to the, the original dialogue. Yeah, achievement text and normal dialogue. Mm -hmm. And yeah, for this NPC, the normal dialogue is greetings. What brings it to me? So, anyway, and then greetings, when br what brings it to me? Will work, but yeah, it doesn't sound really good. <clears throat> so, okay, well, let's see. Oh, it's you. Mm. Oh, it's you. That's that's not good. And I don't really like the adventurer. Mm. <laughs> oh, is it really you? Oh, is it? Oh, is it really you? There are many tales about you in town. Not even the toughest of foes managed to make a flinch. Certainly amazing. You look as sturdy as an oak. That will do. I, I, I think that that's gonna be enough for this dialogue. So let, let me check. So uh, actually, I think we can check that in the game. Uh, if we just relog, I can recompile the dialogue. I think we have all those stats-based titles available right now to this character, so we can see that. Oh, oh, and by the way, it's possible that you can unlock multiple titles um, at the same time. And the way it works is uh, for each title, like the 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 next dialogue appears after the previous one, one one after another and you get title after title after title and then it goes back to the main dialogue but that's gonna be a rare situation i, I believe um but yeah right now we can see that no what oh I managed to save the titles. So let's go and delete them in the database real quick. Mm, character titles. 
Let's get rid of that. And I'll log back in. Yeah, yeah. It is hard, but uh, I, I, I'm not bothering with that too much. The main goal is to make it more or less fine transitioning back to the default dialog. Because in theory, after the title di dialog, it can be that there is a quest dialog, and that one will be different, potentially. So yeah, I'm not bothering with that too much. Wait, what? The dialogues are not working. It gives me the titles. It doesn't show me the dialogues. What? Well, okay, then I, I guess I need to restart the server properly yeah I don't have the, the the title for right now so to test the titles I need to reset the conditions back to one temporarily at least let me first save what I have at the moment Then we set all those conditions to one. Then we need to extract the, the data from the database to CSV. Then let's also restart the client. So we, we're going to build the game data. We're going to rebuild the packs. And we're going to restart the server. Now we have all up to date. Everything. Here we go. This is the the strength title. Let me see those mus muscles. Very nice. Oh, you've been you've been working out lately, didn't you? Don't squeeze my hands so hard. You're gonna break it. <laughs> then the next title. Ah, it's so nice to speak. <laughs> I need to redo this one. This is cringe. But I don't have any other ideas. This is for intelligence. Uh, it's so nice to speak to another intelligent and very educated person, yes, yes. Oh, I need one who can land a hundred hits and never miss once. That's pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Anyway, then the whole dialogue. The other one who can evade every single hit while being while, while fighting a dozen of enemies at the time. Pretty impressive, I'm gonna lie. Is that is it really you? There are many tales about you in town, but not even the toughest of foes managed to make you flinch. Certainly amazing, you look as sturdy as an oak. Th this is great. <laughs> so thank you for that. Oh, it's you, they say you're the luckiest one around. Prove it. Let's pray l let's play rock, paper, scissors. But let me warn you, I never lose. Ready? Oh, all right, you won this time. Let's uh, let's do best of three. Ready? No way, you won the second time. But no one was ever lucky enough to beat me three times in a row. How about best of five? Ready? Unbelievable. The rumors. <coughs> the rumors must be true, you are the luckiest one around. Anyway. Greetings. Still I would like to improve 
intelligence one, the wise title, precise, the skillful, everything else is great. Also we have this intelligent that we never managed to test. Here again, busy with another errand. Uh, you always keep running around helping the town people like a hamster and a whale. Do you even take do you even take a break? Keep keep up the good work. Oh by the way, greetings. Um and for the lazy. Oh great, it's you. Speak of the devil. Uh I've been receiving complaints about your work lately. Uh yes, let's see. Slacking on the job, eating the delivery food, disappearing for a month after being given a task. <clears throat> if you don't stop being so lazy, no one would ever entrust you with a job. People like diligent people who, who does their job in time. Doesn't sound too good. <clears throat> Keep that in mind. You're still there? Then I'll guess greetings. Generally, okay, but people like diligent people who does their job in time. Mm. Sounds a little rough. But to be honest, I don't need to worry about that too much. Still need to fix these three titles. But Probably that's, that's for later. I, <clears throat> I really have to go. So I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, let's find someone to rate real quick. Can I see the titles left to fix? Uh, it's the wise, which is 99 intelligence. It's the precise, uh, which is for the concentration. And the skillful for the dexterity. <clears throat> and this card, uh, I don't know. Maybe I can put that into this card, but probably uh, I'm just going to think about it a little bit more. Maybe next time I'm going to fix it. Not sure. Um, but yeah, I, I really have to go. Crap, <laughs> almost banned Irish John. My brain is not working anymore. Uh, instead of Raiden, almost typed slash banned. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's rate Irish John. And yeah, it, it's 11 p.m. for for me, <laughs> so yeah, I really have to go. Uh, but yeah, we did a great job. Mm, fixed the titles, generated titles for the monster killing slain, uh, and yeah, almost fixed all the dialogues with the great help of you chat so thank you quick question what <laughs> uh yeah so uh yeah thank you everyone for watching great thanks for everyone for helping me that was really great because yeah my, my english level is Nope, not not really great. Um, and yeah, have a good day, everyone. And uh, yeah, let's go raid someone. Well, not someone, Irish John. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>